Something old, something new. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past, for I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up, do you perceive it? Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Without God's merciful saving grace, we are completely lost in our wickedness. We cannot hope to have fellowship with Jesus unless He removes our sin and renews our innocence before Him. Charles Spurgeon stated it well. He wrote, You might notice that God doesn't promise to improve our nature or mend our broken hearts. No, He promises to give us new hearts and right spirits. Human nature is far too gone to ever be mended. It's not a house that is a little out of repair, with an occasional roof shingle missing and a little plaster broken down from the ceiling. No, it's rotten throughout and totally decayed. For the worm has eaten every single timber from the roof to its foundation. It is completely unsound and ready to fall. If it was only a little out of repair, it might be mended, but it's far too gone. God will not attempt to simply repair the walls and repaint the door. He will not beautify, but he determines that this old house needs to be entirely swept away. He will build a new one. Be careful not to hold on to the old self, friend. It would be like trying to live your life in a condemned shack. It will collapse on you in time. Jesus said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Is there anything old you still haven't given up? Choose today to let go and allow Jesus to make you completely new. This devotional was taken from Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings. And I pray you have a blessed day. I hope you're encouraged by this. I was.